I love some savory Indian butter chicken, but I wanna take things to the next level with your help. You guys love butter chicken just as much as I do, and your mashup recipe suggestions are awesome. The butter chicken non burger, wow. Butter chicken quesadilla, my mouth was watering, but the one that inspired me the most, brrr, butter chicken pizza. Let's get this meal mashup going. Butter chicken is a staple in South Asian cuisine, but the cultural history of this dish is really rich. Butter chicken originated in Delhi during the 1950s. It's said that this man opened a restaurant that served clay oven tandoori dishes. Refrigeration wasn't as widely available as it is today, so things like chicken had to be cooked fresh from the market. The story goes, Gujra came up with a savory sauce of tomatoes, butter, cream, and spices. He added some pieces of tandoori chicken to it, and bam, butter chicken was born. It's safe to say it was a major foodie hit. So while y'all were getting schooled on Butter Chicken 101, I grabbed all of my ingredients. We have our chicken that needs to be marinated and we have the butter chicken sauce. We're gonna start with some boneless chicken thighs. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I like to put on some gloves. I gotta protect the nails. All right, now you're gonna just cut the boneless chicken thighs up in big chunks. Gloves off, throw away. Perfect nails. All right, now we have to make the marinade. So we're gonna start with some full fat yogurt, some ginger, some roasted garlic, garam masala, cumin, turmeric, and chili powder. A little bit of salt there. We're going to mix all of these ingredients up together. Look at how Beautiful this is, and it smells amazing too. Just pour this directly onto the chicken. Gonna make sure every single piece of chicken has some of this marinade on it. I'm gonna add a little lemon juice. We're gonna put a lid on this, and we're gonna put this in the fridge and let it sit. Now we have to make the butter sauce. Come hang out with me over on the stove. I'm gonna show you how easy this is to make. We're gonna take one stick of butter and some chopped up onions. Now, I slice these really thin because I want these to cook up quickly. You'll know when it's done because the onions turn a translucent color and they become soft. We're gonna add some ginger and then we're gonna add some garlic, coriander, and cumin, chili powder, and some salt. Now here is another Indian spice that is a must. So this is fenugreek. And when you eat it plain, it has um, kind of like a bitter flavor, so don't do that. But when you put it into a sauce recipe, it has a deep, rich, savory, almost sweet, kind of like a maple syrup type of flavor. Now we're gonna add some chicken broth. This is coming together so nicely and it smells so good. All right, one can, mm, tomatoes. I like to add some heat to the dish. I know there's chili powder in it, but another ingredient that we're going to add now are jalapenos. Look at these things. Take off the top, right down the middle. If the seeds are gonna be too much for you, you can take them out, it's okay, but you guys, if you can't stand the heat, get out of the kitchen! Just kidding. Okay, so you wanna add two or three little pieces of jalapeno. <laughs> I added the whole thing. The whole thing? Because I love the heat. Add the cream and the rest of the spices, which is some garam masala. And then we're going to keep it on low and just let it simmer and cool so all the spices and the cream can combine. Put the lid on it. Now, if you want a thicker sauce, you wanna make sure to crush up some almonds or cashews and dump them in. Now we're gonna grill up our chicken that's been marinating. Beautiful. Pan is hot, let's get this marinated chicken on the grill. Wait for it. Let's do more. <laughs> now 
you're only gonna cook this halfway through because it's gonna cook the rest of the time in the butter sauce. So while that's cooking, we're going to puree the butter sauce. So let's grab our hot pot here. Ooh. <sighs> it's like I wanna bury my face into it. Take your immersion wand and check it out. <laughs> That's it. What this does is break down all the ingredients like the jalapeno and the onions that are sauteed. Mixing it this way is gonna give it that creamy, creamy, creamy butter saucy taste. Look at that. Mmm. This is going back on the stove. Just in time to turn the chicken over. Check out. The grill marks. It's like we are cooking in a clay oven. Grill marks. This is where we combine both ingredients. We're gonna take our grilled marinated chicken, we're gonna put it into the butter sauce and let it cook about maybe another 10 minutes. This really gives the chicken a chance to soak in all of this yummy butter sauce. Okay, super hot pan, super hot pan. Our butter chicken. Oh yeah. Is ready to go. Usually, you serve the butter chicken on basmati rice with some naan. However, today, naan is the star of the show as our pizza crust. These are going onto the pizza stone. 15 minutes. Nobody likes soggy pizza crust. If you don't have a pizza stone, you can put them directly into the oven on the rack or you can use a baking sheet. Let's check on our naan. All right, you guys, these are perfectly done. You don't wanna cook them all the way through because once we get all of our toppings on, they're gonna go back into the oven. So this is taking the place of a pizza sauce, right? Just spread it around. This is also why we pre-bake a little bit because the butter sauce is wet and we don't want this to get soggy. And then we're using Indian paneer cheese. Now, if you want this to be more ooey gooey, you can also mix in a little bit of mozzarella to this. We're gonna go back to our jalapenos. So I'm gonna add a few slices. Okay, maybe more than a few. Look at that, keeping the seeds and all. Plus it adds such great color to the pizza. Now for the fun part. We're going to add the butter chicken. Now remember, this butter chicken has been marinating in this super savory butter sauce. Gorgeous chunks of butter chicken. Top it off with some cilantro. Just give it a rough chop. <laughs> a little more cheese. Just a little bit on top. Back in the oven for about 10 minutes. <laughs> Pizza order up! Whoa. This is literally butter chicken on a Pizza. Thanks for the inspiration, you guys. I think this turned out really, really well. You know when you're in a pizza place and they give you your order and they're like, would you like a little drizzle drizzle? I got your drizzle right here. I put a little bit of the butter sauce in a squirt bottle. Pizza pro, pizza pro. I'm gonna top it off with a little bit more pan there. Boom, boom, like they do in the pizza place. Okay, I'm gonna also add a little bit more fresh cilantro. Just a little rough tear here. You guys, I'm just so impressed right now. It smells delicious, and I know it's gonna taste good too. Let's slice this up. Oh, do you hear that? Woo! I would say this was a success. The butter sauce also doubles up as a dipping sauce. This is non your mother's butter chicken pizza. Look at that. A nice thin crust, the butter chicken sauce, the butter chicken, the paneer cheese. Mmm. Whoa! It's spicy. <laughs> few moments earlier. You wanna add two or three little pieces of jalapeno. 
<laughs> I added the whole thing. The whole thing? Let's try some of this sauce. This is another level. Another level. These flavors are non-stoppable. <laughs> Did you get that? <laughs> I am super happy with how this butter chicken pizza turned out. And the fact that we were able to keep the origins, the integrity, and the taste of this dish intact is truly amazing. Thank you guys so much for the inspiration. If there's other meal mashups that you want me to try, hit up the comments. Straight from the All Recipes community to your mouth, savory Indian butter chicken pizza. Try, tested, and tasty. Find this recipe and more on allrecipes.com and thank you for joining our foodie community. And don't forget to subscribe to All Recipes YouTube channel for more great videos like this.